Well, what do you know? It's the eve of July 4th, 2021. Independence Day, if you will. My name is Alex. I'm the host of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. And uh, yeah, it is Saturday, July 3rd, 2021. And I wanted to catch y'all up on... On what? My weekend? Nah. I don't have much planned this weekend. I don't have much planned this weekend. I'm uh, I'm usually in one of those moods to kick back, grill and chill, if you will. Um, grab a handful of knives and run them across a sharpening stone while I get lost in some fucking YouTube playlist of music or Spotify or what have you. I'm just that type of guy. But I do want to let y'all know that we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot that we we have a lot of uh good a lot of um great good good things available to us still while we're alive and kicking. But I think <clears throat> the greatest part that we have available to us the greatest facet of this society that we all live in i think a great facet to it that we have available to us now is opportunity it's simply opportunity and it's opportunity to be better it's opportunity to get better until this shit is run by ai i was uh speaking with an associate and they had said that that AI, the future is AI, and AI will run things, and 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 there won't be wars, and there won't be starvation. And I, I told them simply, who's gonna run the AI? And they said that the AI would. And I simply said, somebody has to program it. Somebody has to give it that push into existence, into awareness into obtaining a conscious that that conscious spark if you will but even then i don't think it would have that extra level of imagination of creativity that humans would which is scary if you think about it because you would essentially be sending off an entity only to fulfill a mission with a set objective or objectives with set objectives and have them completed as as directly as possible i don't even want to say indirectly because indirectly involves some imagination some form of creativity conflict resolution but if it's if if this is machine uh, learned, as as we're talking about here, it's going to be the most direct possible. And whoever pushes something like that into existence, and then uh, and then expects something from it, some kind of return on their investment, to put it in corporate terms, they're going to want AI to be operating for their benefit. I. <laughs> I've seen enough shit in my life to know that expecting some kind of magnanimous gesture like pushing AI into the pool of universal consciousness that is humanity that's that's naivety that's naivete that's fucking that's <laughs> that's precious that's that's so innocent that's um that's cute there's a there's a word i was looking for that cut a lot sharper that's um it'll come to me a little later as i continue talking but it's quite um 
it's not it's not quite like you imagine it's not quite like we picture it's not quite like we imagine and so long as we still have humans so long as we still have people and they aren't all locking themselves down um so long as we we're still able to get out of our house and walk around so long every every day above dirt is a good day honestly and um so long as we're still able to do dirt the opportunity to be better exists don't give up yes it is july 4th yes there will be fireworks and firecrackers and i feel for you if you are hypersensitive to them but um some of us look forward look forward to the booms and the bangs look forward to some kind of cathartic release on the streets even since we can take to them and celebrate how independence was acquired how the how our nation's independence was obtained and that's through violent dirt doing <laughs> violently doing dirt it's war baby it's business And even if it isn't Independence Day, it's business every day, it's war every day. I look forward to the booms and the bangs, regardless. But, um, beyond that, there isn't much else we can do other than be better, other than do better. I know, uh, this is no time for, for resolutions. I know this isn't the, the 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 mainstream time, I guess, for making resolutions, but I believe it's good to take a step back, take a moment at least, and reflect on what it means to be independent. Reflect on what it means to have liberty, to have individual autonomy, to do what we want when we want. So long as we don't step on anybody's toes, so long as we don't step over anyone's line. And pursuing a livelihood in a reasonable manner. And um, a lot of that involves social engagement, or it should, it ought to involve social engagement. But the more and more I get lost in corporate, the more I see that everyone is a stranger to themselves. We all see what's going on. We all know what's happening in the country. Even if you catch it through, I don't know, some bullshit mainstream media on the television or you catch it on your app, motherfucking news channels, independence or mainstream or alternative or otherwise just throwing information and news updates at you. We've got access to information from all over the world, all over this planet. And, um, and it's like, we don't know each other. It's like, we don't connect with one another. It's like, we've taken this sense of independence and perverted it where we're trying to be independent of one another where the notion the concept of independence should be at the national level setting ourselves apart it's we the royal we we the people it's not just it's not just me right I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the only one out here motherfucking shaking hands and squeezing triggers. I'm not the only one. And, um, it sucks. Sometimes the people we meet, the people we need to meet, the people we need to associate with are so 
they, it feels like they are so few and far in between that that a lot of um, quote unquote innocence, and they're not even innocents. Nobody is right, born sinners and all that shit. A lot of innocents get caught in the fucking crossfire, or they get caught playing the game they don't even know the rules to. And it's, I mean, again, I don't want to say it's cute, but it's some shit you just charge to the game. You can't hate the player. You can't hate a corporate cowboy if we all live in a corporate world. We're born into this shit. Social security number be damned. It's what we've got to work with. It's the flow of capital that we see before our very eyes. Whether it's redistributed or not, we know what it is. We know where it came from. We know where it's going. It's got predictable routes. And as a corporate cowboy, literally a cowboy, we should be able to herd this livestock. Okay, that was a little deep. <laughs> for fucking the 3rd of July plenty of folks who are already into their second glass of whatever tasty beverage they've got going on and I'm over here trying to uh, philosophize one time <laughs> freaking Alex come on bro fucking come on give these folks a break but at the same time I'm thinking give these fucking folks what they want you know Summer so far has been treating me well. Um, I've been really busy. I've been really busy with work. I'm trying to stay on top of this podcast project. And not... Never. And never have it fall by the wayside. And I know you ought to never say never. But at the same time, if, if it isn't me doing this, it'll be somebody else with the corporate cowboy's name. Because the name is out there now. The universe knows about it. So the universe knows I'm fucking coming. As such, if artificial intelligence should become aware, should become, it's not even, it's not even sentient, should become conscious, should develop a conscious, then a, a conscience, a conscience. Then it should know that what I do, I do to be better. And I do to better at least my corner of the world. Whatever I have immediate and direct access to. Then whatever is the product of my effort betters the world indirectly. And it's not items I can see, call it karma, call it dharma, call it whatever. But I do believe in, in paying it forward to an extent, to an extent. If you can do something directly, if you can show a little, um, what's the word I'm, I'm looking for? I want to say passion, not even compassion, not sympathy, not empathy, not pity, not mercy. Fuck all of that. But at least some passion, some life, some life that folks around you want to emulate, some passion, some love, some life. And in that you get life, liberty, happiness. If I ever come across as mad, if I ever come across as emotional, if I ever come across as uh, as loud or obnoxious, I'm doing it out of out of love, and passion, and that's exactly what it's meant to do: is to impassion my words in the name of love, love for life, love for liberty, love for happiness, for the love of money. <laughs> for working for money you see it's not to hoard it 
just to work for it. It's to take it from its dormancy and put it to work for. See, I would have rhymed it with me. But no, it's just to make it work. It's just to make it work. And how do you make an inanimate object work? Hmm, you might ask, is money artificial intelligence? Is it already here and we're just not accounting for it? Damn. Alex, you are getting cryptic with this shit, man. Getting esoteric with it. And that's good. It should make you think. When they say, have money work for you, how, how the fuck are you going to do that? Yeah, you think it's, you, you think you start by hoarding it. That's not true. You don't have to hoard it. Hoard it means you never use it. And that's what a lot of folks think capitalism is. That's what folks have been taught to think capitalism is. They've been conditioned to think cap what what capitalism is is just the hoarding of profit and and the siphoning off of the cream off the top lining one's own pockets and that's not it it really isn't it's the continuous capitalization of what is next of what is better of advancement of innovation and it's a passion. Motherfuckers lose passion every day. Motherfuckers grow old. And those motherfuckers ought to get clipped. And I won't retract that statement. Because I know I will make that list in my last days. And that's how you can tell. When you're scared to let go, <laughs> you become dependent. Happy Independence Day.